Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I literally just got back from the airport from the Minecraft Marathon, and it, that marathon made me kind of really want to record videos again. So, I have this one screen puzzle that I made a month ago and published, and I just never made a video about it. So, uh, I want to do that now. So let's, let's, let me show you the level a little bit. Uh, off to the right we have the end of the level. You can see I need to get past that wiggler. This uh, spring is actually blocked by the one-way gate right here, so I can't actually use the spring. Um, now there is a power switch up here, but you have to be careful not to just get stuck up here. And there's a, a beetle off to the left, all that sort of, all that stuff. So, if you'd like to try out this level, there is a, the course ID is on screen. And now would be the time because I'm going to show you the solution to the level in just a minute. All right, if you're still here, obviously you want to see how it's done. So let me show you. Uh, there's a couple things we need to do. The spring over here, we need this in an accessible position. Right now it's kind of stuck in a place where we can't really use it. We're going to need this beetle up to the top left in order to actually do that. And we're going to need this POW switch. So I want to hit the POW, the block underneath the POW switch while it's not touching it. Then kind of just clip through and grab it right through that platform. You don't want to get stuck above that platform. Otherwise, you can get stuck up above the clouds, and then you're kind of screwed. You're kind of trapped, and you have to start over. So I got the path switch down. I can just set it down. Now we have to use these one-way platforms to get up, and it's not necessarily intuitive how to do that. But the basic idea is that you can use them as little platforms. Sorry, they're one-way gates, but you can use them as platforms as long as you approach from the correct direction. So if I'm coming from the left here, oh, that's a little bit hard to demonstrate. Okay. <laughs> anyway, if you if you come from the direction that the gate is pointing. You can use it as a platform like this, and it's a little bit annoying. You could, if you don't quite get far enough over, you can't use it as a platform. So you have to make sure you get past the edge before you um, hit the top of the platform. But you can use it to get up here. Grab the beetle. Now, if we just kick the beetle in, it won't. Uh, it'll just bounce right back out, and it won't hit that yellow block here. So in order to get the beetle shell to hit the yellow block. We have to let it approach us from the right, and then we can kick it back through the gate. Um, because it started on the right side of the gate, even though we didn't. And so now the spring is actually in an accessible position. So I'm going to grab this shell, bring it back over, and I'm just going to set it down for a moment. So now this spring lets us bounce right up, uh, and we can clip the power switch and the spring here. Uh, okay. And the spring here, it's just right, right through the ceiling, and it'll it'll fall through the platform. Okay, so now I need to grab this beetle again. Hopefully, I don't die. Yeah, we're good. And so the beetle shell, I'm gonna bring that over too, and uh, I'm gonna use this to kill the wiggler. So I'm gonna just kick this right up. Okay, it's good. Uh, I need to now just just destroy this. Uh, don't need it anymore. Now what I'm gonna do? I, I actually can't use the spring to bounce up here. Uh, even if I put the power switch here, I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can quite make it. Just not quite high enough. So, what you do is you grab the spring. Okay. Yeah, so basically you just put the power switch on top of the spring and you use that as a platform. And you can just jump right over and finish the level. This is the most uh, difficult level I've... difficult one screen puzzle I've made Per, uh, kind of execution wise it's kind of hard to execute some of these things especially when you're when you have the shell and the spring and the power switch all in this area it it's actually pretty obnoxious to get them to sit in the right place without destroying each other you know accidentally hitting the power switch with the shell or something like that so and then jumping up on these platforms is also pretty annoying but overall uh, pretty fun level so again if you want to try it out for yourself there is a download or a you know, the course ID is on screen, and take a look around, and uh, hopefully it inspires you, or something like that. Anyway, I'm glad I'm making this video finally. <laughs> Again, I made this like a month ago, and it feels good to actually, you know, finally share it with you guys. So, let me know what you think, and um, otherwise, that's about it. Thanks for watching.